Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to interpret or read a line plot that includes eighths, fourths, and halves. And if you take a look at the left side of your screen, we have a line plot there. And up at the top of your screen, we have a situation that will talk about what that line plot represents. And then we're going to answer some questions that go along with that line plot. So let's start up top where it says, the line plot displays the growth of 15 plants over one week. Answer the following questions using the line plot. So if we look here at our line plot, we have a title up top, plant growth over a week. And then down below, we have a label for what those fractions and other numbers mean. Those represent inches, so a half inch, three fourths of an inch, or maybe even one whole inch. So let's start with number one. What was the lowest amount of growth over the one week? How about the greatest? So let's take a look at our line plot. Now, all of these are fractions. We don't hit on the zero or the one whole, so all of them are going to be a fraction of a whole. So let's find the lowest amount that has an X above it. Each X represents one of those 15 plants. So the lowest is going to be a fourth of an inch right here. A fourth of an inch was the lowest amount of growth over that week. So lowest was a fourth of an inch. How about the greatest? The greatest is going to be right here. Now that does not have a fraction attached to it. So we're going to have to figure it out. So this is 3 fourths right here. So it's not 3 fourths. This hole right here between 0 and 1 hole, this is split into eighths. So follow along with me here. We have 1 eighth, 2 eighths, which is equivalent to 1 fourth, 3 eighths, 4 eighths, which is equivalent to this 1 half. We always use the simplified versions of the fractions. 5 eighths. 6 eighths, which is simplified to 3 fourths, and then this would be 7 eighths. And then lastly would be 8 eighths, which is one whole. So right here, the greatest amount grown over a week would be 7 eighths of an inch. Number two, how many plants grew 5 eighths of an inch? Well, again, the eighths aren't marked on that line plot, so we need to figure it out. And I'll go through this again. So here's 1 eighth, 2 eighths, which is equivalent to 1 fourth, 3 eighths, 4 eighths, which is a half, and then 5 eighths right here. So how many plants or X's is above 5 eighths? And I'll mark it right here, 5 eighths. One. One plant grew 5 eighths of an inch, so one plant. Number three, what is the difference between the highest and lowest amount of growth? Well, the highest amount of growth, if we remember, was seven eighths of an inch. And the lowest amount of growth was one fourth of an inch. So to find the difference, we need to subtract seven eighths and minus one-fourth from that seven-eighths. Now, thinking back to subtracting fractions, we need an equivalent, um, I'm sorry, a common denominator. And the common denominator for an eight and a four is an eight. So let's rewrite the problem to the side. Seven-eighths minus, well, I know four times two will give me that eight, so I need to do the same thing to the top. 1 times 2 is 2. So 7 eighths minus 2 eighths. That 2 eighths is equivalent to 1 fourth. So we did not change the value of the problem. 7 minus 2 is 5. And we keep 
our denominator the same, 8. So 5 eighths of an inch is the difference between the greatest amount of growth and the lowest amount of growth. Lastly, this is the most difficult problem out of the four. Calculate the total amount of growth over the one week. So you're including the growth of all 15 plants. So a common mistake here would just be counting up all the X's and saying 15 as the answer there. But we need each plant's growth added together. So we're, we're going to have to see how much each X is worth. We can think of it like that. Let's start with 1 fourth. We'll go in order here. So we're going to start right here. And we have two plants that grew a fourth of an inch. So that would be 1 fourth plus 1 fourth. So that's 2 fourths of an inch so far we grew. Next, we can skip um, 3, eighths the, 3 eighths of an inch. There's no x there. So we go to 1 half. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 1 half growths. So that's a half plus a half plus a half plus a half, which is two holes, two whole inches. So right now we're at two and two fourths. Now we have five eighths of an inch right here. And there's only one X there, so that's going to be five eighths. Next, we have three fourths. So three fourths plus three fourths plus three fourths. There's three X's there. Three fourths plus three fourths is going to give us one and a half plus another three fourths. So uh, one and a half plus um, three fourths would give us two and a fourth. And then lastly, we have uh, seven eighths, right? And we have one, two, three, four, five groups of seven eighths, five plants that grew seven eighths of an inch. So we need to do uh, seven eighths plus seven eighths plus seven eighths plus seven eighths plus seven eighths. I think I got five there. So what we can do, I don't know off the top of my head. So let's do seven eighths times five which is going to give us 35 over 8, which now we need to get out of that improper fraction. So how many whole eighths out of 35? Well, 4. That gets us to 32 with 3 left over out of 8. So now we have all the growths listed there. We need to add them up. So I would suggest getting a common denominator right off the bat here. So 2 fourths, let's use 8. 2 fourths is going to be 4 eighths. I'm going to use 4 eighths there. They are equivalent, so I'm not changing the value. 2 and 1 fourth here is going to be 2 and 2 eighths. So I'm going to circle everything I'm going to add up because we have a lot going on here. All right, so we need to do 4 eighths plus 2 plus 5 eighths plus 2 and 2 eighths plus 4 and 3 eighths. So I'm going to add all my, my fractional parts first, which would be 4 right here, plus this 5 is 9 plus 2 is 11, plus 3 is 14 eighths is my fractional part, and my whole number part is 2 plus 2 plus 4, which gives me 8. Now we're almost done here. We have 8 and 14 eighths. We don't want to leave that 14 eighths as an improper fraction. It's going to be 1 and 6 eighths. So I need to combine my whole numbers, this 1 and 8. So it turns out I have 9 whole inches and that fractional part of 6 eighths, which can be simplified to 3 fourths. 
Now I'm running out of room there, so I'm going to go to the top left of my screen and rewrite my answer. I have 9 and 6 eighths. And again, 6 eighths can be simplified. I can divide both of these by 2. And I get 9 and 3 fourths of an inch. So 9 and 3 fourths of an inch for the total amount of growth between those 15 plants. So number four is a common type of problem that comes along with line plots and it does take quite a bit amount, a, a quite a bit of amount of work to solve that, but it's just a matter of breaking down the problem and really knowing what you're doing in order to get that total amount. Hopefully that helped with interpreting and reading line plots that involve fourths, eighths, and halves. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.